Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. So, a couple of screencast reviews ago, I reviewed an app called Imagine Free for Instagram that brought the material design uh, UI look and feel to Instagram. So, for this particular review, I wanted to review a similar app for uh, Twitter. Um, the app itself is called Beater, so B-E-E-T-E-R. It's available for free in Google Play. So, I'll jump right into it. So. Upon installing the app, um, you'll log in with your Twitter credentials and um, you'll get started with mostly a similar looking looking Twitter stream just like you see in the Twitter app, but with a uh, material design uh, UI and feel. So um, if you have any notifications like people who've recently followed you, retweeted your uh, so one of your tweets or multiple tweets, then you'll have your um, little bell on the top right that will show that. Um, you can customize that to refresh um, at uh, different intervals. So in this, in my case, I have it set to five minutes, but you can do anything from three minutes up to um, every hour. And then you can also have it set to whatever you want it to notify you of. So favorites, retweets, new followers, mentions, things like that. And then also if you want to vibrate, have a sound, have your um, LED go off, things like that. Um, so that's pretty much straightforward there. You can also do searches. So if you want to search for a trending tweet or um, another tweet of your own, then you can do that as well. Um, so there's that. And then you have, I believe this icon is for a web view or recent something along those lines. I haven't quite figured out exactly what it does, but um, it's a toggle of source as far as I can tell. Um, and then also by default, your UI is going to also have mentions and messages. So you have easy access to those. You don't have to go into um, your uh, any other menus. You can just swipe from right to left, as you can see there, to get into that. Um, and then at the bottom of the screen, you can start a new tweet, um, mm -hmm. share a photo that's in your mm -hmm. gallery, or um, take a picture with using your camera app. And then you can also um, set up hashtags and location, um, add location information, mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that. But where Beater really shines compared to the official uh, twi Twitter app is its menu. So much like the um, Google Plus app or any other app that uses the overflow menu or even Feedly or Imagine Free, you when you touch that, you get your uh, profile picture, wallpaper. You can edit your um, information, uh, various things like that as you um, if as you need to. Um, you also have a quick link to your profile, so you can um, see, check your Twitter stream and things like that. Check for past mm -hmm. tweets. Um, also, you can uh, you can get to what um, tweets you've liked mm -hmm. or favorited, depending on um, how you want to remember it. And then you can also have quick access to your list, which brings me to a very cool feature. So. As you can see, I have a number of lists already set up, but let's say I want a list on my main screen. So let's say I want to have my, I use Twitter for my um, latest news updates. Then when you go into the list and touch the um, three dots at the top right of your screen, you can add the list to your tab. So now when you go back to your main um, new main uh, feed or Twitter uh, feed, you will now see that list show up in your as one of your tabs. So now when you touch it, you can scroll through um, that your list of whatever the, um, list you've decided to add. So mm -hmm. now when I and then that stays there permanently. So if I go back to my home screen and then I relaunch um, Beater, it will now show my um, it'll continue to show that list there. So. I now don't have to worry or I don't have to go through any particular uh, set of steps It's automatically there and I'll, I can um, switch to, to my various other tabs that are open and you can also set a multiple list as well so if you want more than one list there so if you have news and comedy or a group that you might be following with a particular name then that's all there as well. And then when you're at the top of the list, it does support a uh, pull to refresh. So um, you can, once you get to the top and you realize it's been, let's say, half an hour, you want to see even more new tweets in that list, then that is also available. Um, going into settings is pretty straightforward. You have your account settings, you can add multiple accounts, you can set up your timeline view. So the size of your tweets, how many tweets show up in the timeline. Um, whether to show a preview image or not. 
um, and your user, the user icon quality as well, if you want that, and the icon size, and what happens when you touch a tweet, which I'll get to into in a second. But you can also customize the order your, of your um, tabs. So in this case, mentions, uh, my news list, and messages are in that order. But if I, you hold down and drag your list up, you can have it next to your main timeline. So now when I go to the main screen, if I want to jump quickly to news, it's a matter of tw swiping or a matter of just touching that list. Um, now let's say by accident you selected a list that you didn't want to um, select or you no longer really care to have that list show up. You can um, swipe right and it'll delete that um, list so or it'll delete that tab so that list doesn't show up anymore. It's, the list still exists but um, it just doesn't show up as a custom tab. Um, that's really all there is for that. You can also um, customize how the searches and trends show up in your um, um, searches and tr um, trends list so if you need to do any customization there for me I don't really it doesn't really affect me there but you have that option as well and then you also have the option to open links in an external browser or use Chrome tabs I have it set to Chrome custom tabs so it, op it uses Chrome as a backend so it does uh, require you having Chrome installed but if you have another um, browser installed and you want to use that instead then you can do that as well. Um, the other way that Beater shines is when you click on a um, tweet it'll, you can have it do different things. So in this case let's say I'm reading this tweet by Android Community. I can by touching the tweet I can reply to them, retweet it, quote it, like it, um, see more information or read more of that tweet if there's an overflow on it. Um, and then if I want to click on the link, I can just touch the link. It'll open the link in a browser and I can read the rest of the article. And as you can see, this is how it handles opening the link in a Chrome custom tab. Closing it will take me back to the tweet I was reading. And um, I don't know where that, I guess that was an ad, but um, and then you have your various options for copying the text, quoting the tweets and things like that. So. All of those options um, are still available there. So that is really all there is for the app. It's pretty straightforward. It's a very clean and neat uh, UI. Um, uh, actually, the one thing I didn't mention is that there is um, actually also um, you, uh, appearance and themes that you can set up. So if you want to have a dark theme, that is also um, an option which now for some reason it doesn't want to work but um, this is um, as far as um, app uh, stability every so often things like that do happen but I this is actually I think the only probably only the second time it's really happened I don't know why it happens but um, you can change that does have a light and dark theme you can have it set um, to hide your status bar if you want as well so um, depending on kind of how you want it to look and feel there is um, that so hiding the status bar there will make it a full screen uh, experience so if you kind of if you want if you kind of like that um, experience then that is um, an option as well and then um, I, I don't really care but that is an option and then if you want to have it show favoriting instead of liking um, and then the order of to the tweet, photo, and camera. So depending on what you how you, how you use Twitter, that's also an option there. So uh, a few different things here and there, but definitely a very good app. Um, definitely worth checking out. I have, like I said, the only real major issue is things like that. I re randomly like this, for, for example, the second time in probably about a week, it has it kind of slowed down and things like that. But I was like, I checked randomly, and there do seem to be re regular updates coming through. So. Overall, it's a very stable app, definitely worth checking out and worth using. Um, I do quite like it quite a bit. I did mess around with my list a little bit, but I do like a couple of lists, have, or having a couple of lists handy just to follow the pe things that I want to follow more easily and get to those without having to jump through hoops to get those, um, get to those lists and that content. So that is Beater for Twitter, Twitter. that's B-E-T-E-R. Um, and it's a Twitter client. Just look for the black square with the letter B in it. And there you go. It is a free app. Um, and I'll have a link in the show notes to the uh, link in the Google Play Store. So you can definitely check it out and try it for yourself. 
But that is all for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want me to cover or explain or go over something a little bit more, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com and, of course, find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.